what's up everybody and welcome to this video tutorial in which we are going to create our own news summarizer using hugging faces auto nlp that is without writing out any line of code we are going to come up with a state of art news summarization model and we are going to test it out here it's a working day and you may not have enough time to read through this article on a billion COVID vaccines delivered by India. So what you could simply do is copy this out. See, we've copied this out. And then paste this in here. Click on compute. Wait for a while. And there we go. India's administered more than 1 billion COVID-19 vaccine doses. A remarkable feat just months after a second wave of infection killed thousands of people across the country so far india has fully vaccinated just 30 percent of its adult population and given one dose of 74 percent according to india's minister of health so that's it i could get to work knowing that i've gotten the essence of this news article don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification button so you don't miss amazing content like this Without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the subject matter. Here we have the Hug and Face Auto NLP page. Hug and Face is this company which is making available lots of state of art NLP models for free, and most of these models are based off the Transformer model. And as we could see here in the model hub, we have a list of tags. We we'll pick, for example, translation. We have different models which could permit anybody in the world make use of these state-of-art models in training their own custom translation models on their own data so we could see here we have this inference api my name is sarah and i live in london run this my name is sarah onish lib in london and we could see here that this particular model has been downloaded a million six hundred times just last month. This is just to tell you how the ML community has adopted Hugging Face. That said, we have your Hugging Faces Auto ML solution, which they call Auto NLP. Now, before going to sign it up and everything, we just have to note that with auto ml uh and more specifically auto mlp in this case we don't need to write any code so all you need to do is come up with your data that is take your time come up with your cleaned data put this data in your and the training is done automatically for you and guess what once it's trained you could deploy very quickly without writing any extra line of code so it's just that simple without wasting much time let's get into signing up so yeah you just have to put in your email address and then you just sign up so right yeah username neural learn full name and then you go ahead and create your account from here we would have to check our mail so let's go ahead and check the mail confirm the registration and get started with hugging faces auto nlp we're now set so we get into this join better your account is now enabled for on on nlp we sent you an email with everything to get started connect to your dashboard so that's it we'll get to our dashboard and then we go ahead and create a new project yeah we're gonna call this project summarization summarization um let's say summarization with auto nlp task yeah we have set of tasks so we could pick out text classification token classification question answering summarization or text scoring so for now we pick out the summarization model choice automatic so if i don't have any experience with nlp models i just have to pick automatic and that's all i just go straight into using an automatic model selected by hugging face automatically for me nonetheless we'll go to manual and then yeah, we're going to select the model 
to pick our model we get back to this models right here and we have the task summarization we'll be training our model to summarize news articles so right here we could just pick out this google pegasus cnn daily mail and all we need to do right here is just to note this name and that's what we type in here daily cnn so that's it we have the pegasus cnn daily mail model by google so we have that we have this standard 15 models and then we create our project and there we go our project is created and all we need to do now is to come up with our data set and start with the training so first things first, we have to prepare our data for summarization. As you could see here, auto NLP needs example data, which could be uploaded as files in the CSV or JSON or format. And each file should have at least two columns, one for the text and one for the target. In this case, our text here is going to be like an article. So you see an article. We're going to have an article and then we have a summary of that article which we call here the target. So we have the text, which is the article, and the target, which is a summary of that article. So uh, we'll get straight away into getting this type of data. We'll be using this no summary data set provided by Conda Larao, Von Teru, and Kegel. And a, a quite a very interesting data set. It has the kind of data we want to be dealing with. We have, um, yeah, the order, the date, the headline, um, the read more, that's a link so you could read more of that. And then you have the text and then you have the context. So right here we will see, let's get ahead and download this. But before downloading, note that this text right here will play the role of the summary and then the context will be the actual article. So let's download this. And as you could see here, we have the author, the date, the headline, the text. So see, we have the summarized text and we have the full article. So we have about 4,500 of these articles and these summaries. Before uploading our data set to the Hugging Face platform, we'll start by doing some pre-processing. So right here, we're going to import Pandas, SPD, and import csv so we could pre-process this data set we have this file path this is exactly where our data is found so we'll run this cell from here we call on the pandas read csv method so we have the csv file equals pd.read csv which we pass in the file path and then we could print out this our csv file so we have this unicode decode error well let's modify the encoding so right here let's take this we have the encoding equals latin one run that again and there we go we are able to view our file so we have the author date headlines just as what we saw previously so nothing strange here everything sounds normal we have 4514 rows and then six columns everything is okay and from here we'll define another file path that's file path out equals it's practically the same as or similar to this but it's a pre-processed csv file so we have that oh, now we have no summary out dot csv we run that and then we get into creating this csv file so we'll start by open it up and then we shall write out for each and every row both the text and the context that's both the text and the target so right here we go ahead and open up this file while in write mode encoding utf8 we move to the new line that's we pass in this new line to put an empty string so we don't have empty rows and that's it we've opened up this file and we're ready to write in it so we have the csv the writer which takes in our file right here and define our writer and then we write for every row whatever information we want to put in 
so right here we see that we have this two columns we have this first column text and the next column the target and from this we are going to move for each and every context and text that's for each and every row in the csv file we are going to write out that row in this our new csv file so we're going to pick out just the context and the text note that in this case we are having those two rows where we just define this to be the text that's the main text and then the target is the summarized text so right here we have for text and target in zip of the csv file that's the csv file we define here we should just print it out so we have the csv file we start with a context so we have c text and then we have csv file we pick out the text note that in that csv file this context is actually the text and then the summarized context is this one year which is our target so this is how we pick up this data now we've had this so we've taken zip zip yeah we have that and then we go ahead and write so writer the right row of text and target so that's it so once we have that done we just run it and wait for a while we have this error right yeah this should be in a list so we have that run it again and that's fine we open up our file and here's what we get we have the text and the target so we see here for example this long text and then the target let's pick it here yeah we have the target or the summary of this text take this guy we have a summary right here with this we're now ready to drop our files so we go ahead and pick out this new summary out that's it we have here the preview of our csv file we just upload it there we go we have the text we have the target number of rows oh this piece size we could do this automatically that's split the training and validation automatically or we may want to do this manually so we just go with automatic and then we have to map our data here we told the text column we select this column is actually the text our target is the target that's because we pre-process is such that we already have the context which was converted into this text and our text which was converted into this target since this is exactly what the model understands so that done we just add this to our data set and wait for a while we are now ready to train our model since we've added this our data set we go to trainings and we start the model training there we go our model is training we just have to wait for a while and we should have all our 15 models trained we've now trained for close to three hours and here we are we have our auto trained models you could check out some metrics right here this is what we get we could see here our different models some of the models were stopped and training so we're left with this eight different models so for each and every one of those eight different models we have the loss we have the rouge cars now you could do this to put it in ascending order or do this put it in descending order so here we have the best performing model as the higher the rouge car the better the model this rouge call metrics here tells us how well the predicted summaries look like actual summaries so thanks to hugging face auto nlp we're able to train and then visualize metrics after training automatically now we'll go back to training we pick out this best performing model you see these two models right here the two best performing models notice they have a badge so that's it we click on this we have the model metrics right here we get to view this model on the model hub so we click on that there we go we have this model now notice how we have your neural learn so it's like a neural learn model though at the base it is 
a Google model. But since we've fine tuned this on our data, you see we have this new model known as on a auto NLP summarization. So that's it. In order to test our model summarization capability, we're gonna copy out this news article. So let's just copy this out. We have that copy. We now paste this in here and we simply click and compute. So that's it, it's running. We're gonna first start by loading this model. And there we go, here's our response. Trunks of Sudanese protesters took to the streets on Thursday to voice the support for civilian rule within the country's power sharing government. Military and civilian groups have been sharing power in the East African country since the toppling of long-standing president Omar al Bashir in 2019. We see how this model does quite a great job in summarizing this news article. So let's go straight away and take another example. We have this example, India delivers 1 billion COVID vaccines, but millions are yet to receive a single dose. So we'll just copy this article, just copy this out. There we go. We have that. No, it's not ended. It's quite a long article, so copy all this. And that's it. So we have this article copied. We now simply replace this text right here with our new article. So we have this article right here, and then we'll click and compute. Let's check out this other example on the 27 people killed after torrential rain in India's Kerala state triggers landslides and floods. So right here, we just copy this article. We have this right here. Copy this out. And then we go straight away to summarize it. What we'll have to do now is just paste this in here. So that's it. At least 27 people have been killed and all of that. Compute. And there we go. We get this great result. At least 27 people have been killed after heavy rain triggered floods and landslides in southern India. Torrential rain has battered the coastal state of Kerala since Friday, causing rivers to swell and flooding roads that left vehicles submerged in muddy waters. Thousands of people have been evacuated to more than 150 relief camps across the state. Thank you very much for following up to this point. We see how without having to know anything about the transformer model, we are able to get amazing results like this. Thanks very much to the Hugging Face team. If you enjoyed this video and the results we are able to produce, kindly go to the GitHub repository of Hugging Face and give them a star. See you next time and stay blessed.